Did you know that many common houseplants like Monstera and Pothos are aeroids? Today, let's talk about how you can be set up for happy plants with this aeroid potting mix. The key to a good potting mix is creating a balance between water retention, aeration and drainage to suit your plant. This aeroid mix allows good aeration and drainage while retaining enough moisture. This helps manage issues like yellowing leaves or root rot. First, you'll need cocoa chips for aeration and drainage. As a bonus, it lightens up the mix and is great for larger pots. Alternatively, you can use orchid bark. Feel free to use whichever is more readily available to you or that you personally prefer. Next, you need pumice for aeration and drainage. This gives the soil structure over a longer period of time as it doesn't break down as quickly. Next, you need cocoa peat as the main ingredient for water retention. Then, you may need some humus or worm castings for water retention and nutritional value. Personally, I use a commercial soil which contains around 70% humus, but you can feel free to use whichever is available to you. Finally, you might want to add some activated charcoal for aeration and drainage. This is optional. Do use it in moderation as it can raise the pH of the soil. So, how much should you use of each ingredient? Look up how the plant lives in its natural environment for inspiration. Personally, I use more cocoa chips and the rest in a varied ratio for common houseplants like Monstera, Pothos and Philodendron. There's no one-size-fits-all as everyone's plants watering frequency and environment is different. If your plants dry out too quickly, try more water retentive ingredients like cocoa peat. If it stays too wet or you start seeing yellowing leaves from overwatering, try more aerating ingredients like cocoa chips. Don't worry, you can amend the mix as you observe how your plant is doing. Here's a quick experiment using a heavy commercial soil on the left and the error mix we just created on the right. I added the same amount of water to both mixes which were completely dry initially. The heavier commercial mix on the left is less porous and allows less aeration around the roots, while holding on a larger amount of moisture. It took longer for water to flow through. I had to wait a while before adding in the rest of the bottle of water. Now, on the right, see how the aeroid mix we've just made drains freely? It retains enough moisture while being porous to allow more aeration around the roots. Now, this doesn't mean you can't use heavier commercial mixes. It just means that if you do, it's a good idea to amend it with materials for better aeration and drainage to suit your plant. I use commercial mixes in place of cocoa peat at times, and it works as well. In terms of care, you want to be able to drench the soil, so water flows freely out of the pot and moisture is evenly distributed throughout. Quick tip! Try top dressing with a layer that dries quickly like cocoa chips. While this mix itself dries quickly, having an even faster drying layer above really helps to keep fungus gnats away. Now, I hope this inspires you to go forth and give your plants the love they deserve. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe for more. If there's anything else you'd like to learn about, do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy planting!